So at first, first she hid completely and I could barely get to her. And then she decided she would be chasing, literally chasing me around the room. I had to wear knee high boots. The shelter had deemed her as not an adoptable cat. I didn't know the extent, but I definitely was ready to commit whatever it took. Little by little, she started showing little moments where she would kind of, it's almost like this wall in front of her would just come down momentarily and she would just go right up to me. And I, I managed to touch her just a couple of times. In those moments, I can say I probably saw the potential. I knew there was something there. I knew there was somebody that was, was going to eventually surface. And I decided at that point to stop trying. I just said, no more, like just give her her space. She's, she's telling me all this time, she just needs her own timeline. And my own selfish need to smother her needs to subside. I started practicing by putting treats on my chest and she would grab them, walk away, and then one night I just woke up and she was all over me. From that point on, it was touch and go. You know, there were a lot of those moments, but then there would be a few, few days in between where she would decide she's she doesn't totally trust me. So I would say it took maybe a month before I felt super comfortable with her and vice versa. And then the rest was history. Just kind of letting go of that kind of selfish need to connect and really realizing that you're kind of there for the animal. That's a very kind of profound experience if you really tap into it. She is so easy and in tune with me. It, I, I feel like She's just an extension of me somehow. She is just my sidekick.